We're back at Ashton Gate for just the second time in four days as we take on Coventry City at BS3. The games are coming thick and fast for Bristol City during this October break. We're now three dead games without a win, so we're hoping to change that form around today ahead of a few massive games for the Reds. Obviously, Coventry today, Birmingham away, and then Preston at home, all in the space of a week. So let's go outside the ground and see some fans, see what they're thinking ahead of today's game. Finn, three games unbeaten now, coming off a good home win against Borough. Coming into today's game, Ashton Gate. Obviously, October's mad pack for the games. You're looking to go into a couple. Mate, as you can see, fresh trim, that means business. There is no messing about it. Watch this. Casey Farber, he bags today, I am telling you. No messing about. Ben Wilson, absolute like world-class performance. We're winning. I'm telling you. 2-1. Easy. You did the double over this season. Griffin will do the same. Oh, I mean, we are. Mate, we did bother the cup game. 4-1. 4-1. Man, I was having a meltdown during that. Nah, I reckon we win. Like, we win today and at home. We're always decent at home. Easy. And bringing 1.1k today. Oh, it's not, I mean, it's not bad, but, but the website though, who's working on that? They've had a few sherries. It's not Christmas yet. Mate, it was showing sold out for about six hours. I'm having a meltdown. You're messaging me saying it's sold out. Is it out? For you, Matt, for you taking the mick? Yeah, it's, it's, it's not great, but you like need to sell them on the door as well. Poor. You guys missing a few big players as well today, but do you reckon the likes of Jokerez Palmer gets over the line? Buff. Easy. Watch Jokerez. The bloke doesn't miss. You put him in front of goal. He's like a bully. Honestly, he is a joke. He's like Slenderman up there. He wiggles through you. I'm calling it. He's going to score as well. Palmer, Jokerez to both score. Prediction then? 2-1. Good man. Neil, another game at Ashton Gate in the space of just a few days. Must be a busy time for both you and the Forms of Play Association. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's, it's great to be on. It's great to be here at Ashton Gate. Um, everybody who, who helps out, we've got a bit of a team together now. So, yeah, it's, go it's going really well. And, yeah, great reaction from the supporters as well, which is the main thing as well. And you started it at the end of last season. You did quite a bit uh, at the end of last season. Obviously the Borough game, that was a massive thing. Yeah, that's right. I'm mean, starting it, but well, it's been a year, and in that time we've done, uh, I think we've brought over 60 players back and their families. We've also reached out to about 100 players who were all over the country and abroad as well. Um, so that's been really good, and obviously events like the Ashton Gate 8, the Spirit of the 60s, it's, it's really caught the fans' imagination, so it's gone really well, yeah. And you got the new Legends Lounge as well? Yeah, got to thank the club and everybody at Bristol Sport for the support they've given us. It's a great base for the players to, to come to and their families. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's really good, getting and, bigger and bigger. And is there anything the, the fans can, can do to help out or get involved with? Well, it's always we always have a thing where we, with, with supporters, with memorabilia and stuff like that, we have our own sort of archive, archive that we're building. So if anybody's got any anything that we like to take a photo of it, scan it, put it on our website, which will be coming out. Um, so anything like that. But just really the fans is what they're doing at the moment. Keep, keep what they're doing, which is making the players feel so welcome to be back here. That's the main thing. They love it. And then City, obviously, started the season quite well. Obviously, could have been better, but yeah. it, it's not been too bad. October, a massive time uh, for the for football really obviously with the World Cup next month it's massive we've got games every yeah. two three times a week yeah the games are coming thick and fast I must admit it's been I still got a lot of optimism about them the way, they, the way they're playing I know things haven't been great well here we are before the Coventry game so hopefully we'll get a result today but um, I think there's progression and so that's the main thing there is progression I think we are we are, I know it's an old phrase we are where we are but that's us mid-table at the moment and what are you thinking today? I think they'll do well. I, th I think they'll win today. I, I, I really do. That's not just blind optimism. It probably is a little bit. But um, yeah, I, I think I think they'll win two 0 tonight. 